That's fantastic. So there's awesome art assets, awesome systems to get your gameplay up and running. Uh, what about the audio? Because the audio is pretty awesome too. Yes, yeah, so I'm really excited about the audio actually. We worked with um, Pinewood Studios and the interactive audio department um, to create all the sounds for the game. And that was really exciting. We got to visit the studio as well and they created a lot of the sound effects like footsteps with Foley. Um, so that's some like really high quality audio that we're also providing in this kit that you can, just like anything else in the kit, take um, use in your own projects if you wish. Um, that's totally fine. Um, so yeah, really, really excited about that. And we've got some awesome Don't audio. forget, it's all spatialised as well. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And lots of heavy use of um, reverberation zones where appropriate. The spatialization stuff's new, right? Yeah, um, it's you can get it in 2018.1. You've got to go to audio settings to enable it. And then you have to enable spatialization for each audio source. It's not too expensive mm. uh, and it sounds great. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Works best with headphones. You've got to remember that. Mm. Yes. And that means like you can hear chompers if they're coming from behind you, which are the little enemy pink or on enemies. Top of you. Or on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can hear where they are. Um, <clears throat> like in actual space in the scene which is really cool so the game kit looks fantastic so <laughs> what platforms is it targeted towards so the example project uh, we ship it to be targeted towards current gen hardware um, and we ship it at the quality setting like fantastic the highest in the editor so because we have such high quality assets in there um, it may or may not run as well on your computer or it may run great um, but you can adjust the quality settings in the editor and that will also adjust um, um, different things appearing or not appearing based on just like a game would be the kit itself so if you are to open up the template project and start playing around that is for any platform that you can have um, but inherent of 3D game development, the more you add in uh, without thinking about performance, the more your machine might struggle, depending on what you have. Um, but you're unlikely to hit that until you build something of the level of detail that we have in the example project. Okay, so in terms of these super cool high quality assets, what would you like people to know about? What should they look out for? Well, one of the, one of the main aims with this project was to try and create like a really high quality like showcase example of, of a 3D game kit. Uh, not a 3D game kit, but a 3D game itself in kit form. Um, so we have these very uh, high polygon, high resolution texture assets. Uh, so, you know, they can hold up really, really close to the camera or really, really far away. And um, although that sounds like it might be really heavy on performance, there's some features that we're using of Unity that have been around for quite a long time uh, that means they're actually a lot more flexible than you might think. Um, so one of the things we're using is the LOD group component. Um, LOD stands for level of detail. Um, so what this is is like, it's quite a smart way that Unity has of reducing the quality and level of detail of an asset, the kind of the further away from a camera it is. Mm -hmm. um, so we can have these really, really intense 8K super detailed textures like right up close to the player. But if they're far away, um, they'll get MIP mapped down, which means it uses a slightly lower quality texture. Uh, the polygons will automatically reduce depending on how far away the camera is. Um, and if you're making kind of a, a lower spec game, you can just use those uh, lower mm -hmm. lower end LODs. You can just pull those straight out of the prefab and use like the lowest poly, lowest texture version of those assets. So they're quite a bit more flexible than they might see. Um, can, this I, can I just add too mm. that um, we've added a system onto the camera so that you can cull oh, yeah. different yeah. objects at different distances uh, from the camera, which is not something you often see in Unity projects because it's a little hidden feature. Mm -hmm. um, so we can cull the uh, vegetation, say, 25 meters out from the camera, um, but we don't want to cull the, um, the main vegetation until maybe 100 meters from the camera. Mm -hmm. So it's all very configurable and it works in with the lot system. And yeah. culling meaning that it's that... Culling means it's turned off. Yeah, it's just that selection purposes, of yeah. objects is turned off and it's not going to yeah. be displayed 